The reason you want to clean this is where this is where the brake pads slide. So you don't want it binding or sticking anywhere. And then we also need to clean these pins in here as well. Okay, so these are the <clears throat> caliper pins. This is what the brake caliper slides on. And you want to go ahead, you want to open these up if you can. Sometimes these are rusted and stuck in there. They're gooed up, yeah. So, so once you get these out, you're going to want to clean the old grease off of them. Again, you can use brake cleaner, acetone. You could use um, gasoline if you had it. Just anything that will take off the old grease. And we're going to put new grease on it as well. So this is, this is kind of interesting, Bob. Oh, it's got a little clip on it. No, it's a piece of rubber that swells up. Oh. Right down here, you have a little piece of rubber. And what I've seen happen over time, over the years, this rubber actually will swell up. And it stops the pin from moving freely inside here. So what I'll do, you can just lift it up like this, pinch it together. And I just end up taking it off. I leave it off. I don't even put them back on anymore. Because I've seen too many times where they'll swell up and just stop stop the caliper from moving and then you get uneven brake pad wear and uneven rotor wear synthetic brake grease you can get this from I can pick this one up from O'Reilly's you can get it from Napa AutoZone anywhere small little packet no bigger than my hand if you're not doing this all the time then what you do you just go ahead and squeeze some out I cut the corner just apply it to the pin. Take your hand. Get it nice and lubed up. And put it back into the caliper. Make sure it goes nice and freely. And you want to put the boot over it again. And if you're pushing and it, and it wants to push back out, all you got to do is make a little hole in the vacuum. Push it in, let go, and it'll stay in place.